Hey Digital Diamonds, it's time for another Digital Gem. Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome back to Digital Healthcare Solutions, a healthcare network developed to equip, empower, and encourage a thriving digital healthcare nomad community. Today, we're diving into the intricate and fascinating realm of the male reproductive system, a sophisticated network of organs and structures that are fundamental for the production, maintenance, and delivery of sperm and reproductive hormones. As you may or may not be aware, the male reproductive system is divided into external and internal components, each playing a vital role in reproductive health. Let's review the external component of the male reproductive system to start off. The two major organs related to the external component of the male reproductive system include the penis and the scrotum. The penis serves dual purposes. It is essential for sexual intercourse and functions as the conduit for urine expulsion from the body. And the penis contains the urethra, which is the channel that carries semen during ejaculation and urine during urination. Then there is the scrotum. The scrotum is a skin-covered sac that houses the testicles. The scrotum plays a critical role in regulating temperature, keeping the testes at an optimal level about 2 to 3 degrees Celsius below the body's core temperature. This cooler environment is essential for effective spermatogenesis, which is the production of sperm cells. Internally, the male reproductive system consists of several key structures. Testicles. Paired testis oval glands located within the scrotum. The testes are responsible for producing sperm and synthesizing testosterone, the principal male sex hormone. Testosterone is crucial for the development of male secondary sexual characteristics and overall reproductive function. Epididymis. This is a long coiled tube situated at the back of each testis. It serves as a site for the maturation, storage, and transport of sperm. Sperm undergo a process of maturation in the epididymis, where they acquire the ability to swim and fertilize an ovum. The vas deferens. These are muscular tubes that transport mature sperm from the epididymis to the ejaculatory ducts. During ejaculation, rhythmic contractions propel the sperm forward. Seminal vesicles. These paired glands are located behind the bladder. They secrete a viscous fluid rich in fructose, which constitutes about 60 to 70% of the ejaculate volume. This fluid provides an energy source for sperm and enhances their motility. The prostate gland, located below the bladder and surrounding the urethra, the prostate gland produces a slightly alkaline fluid that constitutes roughly 20 to 30% of the semen. This fluid contains enzymes, prostate-specific antigen, popularly known as PSA, and other substances that help to nourish and transport sperm, as well as protect them in the acidic environment of the female reproductive tract. And the bulbarithral glands? These glands, also referenced as Cowper's glands, are pea-sized glands situated below the prostate gland. They secrete a clear pre-ejaculate fluid that lubricates the urethra and neutralizes any residual acidity from urine, facilitating the safe passage of sperm. Understanding the male reproductive system's intricate functionality not only enhances our knowledge, but also underscores the importance of maintaining reproductive health through regular medical checkups. Healthy lifestyle choices and awareness of any potential issues. Fun fact. Did you know that the average male produces about 1,500 sperm cells per second? This remarkable rate of production ensures that there are always ample sperm available for reproduction, is highlights the efficiency and resilience of the male reproductive system. This fact underscores and serves as a reminder of the importance of regular health checkups and a healthy lifestyle to support optimal reproductive function. So let's explore just how does the male reproductive system function step by step. Being that the male reproductive system is indeed a complex and finely tuned network responsible for producing, maturing, and delivering sperm. We want to bring clarity to this network by providing a detailed step-by-step -step breakdown of how the male reproductive system functions. Starting off, there's sperm production. The process begins in the testes, where sperm cells are produced within the seminiferous tubules. This production process, known as spermatogenesis, involves the division and maturation of germ cells into fully functional sperm cells. Each sperm cell undergoes several stages of development, transforming from a spermatogonium into a mature spermatozoon. Sperm maturation. After their production, immature sperm are transported to the epididymis, which is a long coiled tube attached to the back of each testicle. In the epididymis, sperm undergo further maturation. This stage is crucial as sperm gain motility, the ability to swim, and acquire the necessary enzymes to penetrate and fertilize an egg. 
This maturation process can take several days. Then there is the transportation process. Once matured, sperm are stored in the epididymis until ejaculation. During sexual arousal, sperm are propelled from the epididymis through the vias deferens, a muscular tube that connects the epididymis to the ejaculatory ducts. This transport is facilitated by smooth muscle contractions in the walls of the vas deferens and fluid addition. As sperm travel through the reproductive tract, they mix with seminal fluids secreted by the seminal vesicles, prostate gland, and bulbarethral glands. The seminal vesicles add a fructose-rich fluid that provides energy for the sperm. The prostate gland contributes a milky alkaline fluid that helps to protect sperm in the acidic environment of the female reproductive tract. The bulbarethral glands secrete a clear fluid that lubricates the urethra and neutralizes any remaining acidity from urine. Ejaculation. During sexual climax, a series of coordinated muscle contractions expel semen through the urethra and out of the penis. This process, known as ejaculation, involves the rhythmic contraction of muscles in the pelvic floor, prostate, and urethra. The forceful expulsion ensures that semen is effectively delivered to the female reproductive tract, where fertilization can occur. Along with coordinated muscle contractions and the forceful expulsion of seminal fluids and spermatozoa comes the risk of diseases and other health-related conditions that could impact males. Let's review some of those diseases and conditions. Erectile dysfunction, commonly referred to as ED, is a condition characterized by the inability of a male to achieve or maintain an erection suitable for intercourse. Erectile dysfunction can significantly impact a man's quality of life and may be indicative of underlying health issues. Prostate cancer. This semi-common cancer affects the prostate gland and is a major concern for older men. Regular screenings are crucial for early detection and effective treatment. Testicular cancer, often affecting younger men between early 20s and mid-40s, is a type of cancer developed in the testes. Therefore, early detection through self-examination and medical checkups are vital for successful treatment. Benign prostatic hyperplasia. This is a non-cancerous enlargement condition of the prostate gland that can cause urinary problems and affect the quality of life. Infertility. This is also a condition that can result from various factors including low sperm count, poor sperm motility or other underlying conditions. It affects a couple's ability to conceive and may require medical intervention. Sexually transmitted infections. Infections such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis can severely impact reproductive health if left untreated. Safe sex practices and regular testing are essential for prevention and management. Varicocello. This condition involves enlarged veins within the scrotum, which can affect sperm production and function, potentially leading to infertility. Hypogonadism. This condition refers to low testosterone production, which can impact sexual development, fertility, and overall health. With all of that being said, let's shift our focus to controlling the controllables. Here are 10 foods that may be consumed to support the male reproductive system. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are rich in lycopene, a powerful antioxidant that may improve prostate health. Lycopene helps reduce inflammation and oxidative stress in the prostate, potentially lowering the risk of prostate cancer and other related issues. Walnuts. While high in omega-3 fatty acids, walnuts can improve sperm quality. These healthy fats help maintain the structure of sperm cells and enhance their motility, increasing the chances of successful fertilization. Pumpkin seeds. These are a great source of zinc, an essential mineral for testosterone production. Adequate zinc levels are crucial for maintaining healthy sperm and overall male fertility. Spinach. Spinach is loaded with folate, a B vitamin important for healthy sperm production. Folate helps ensure that sperm DNA is intact, reducing the risk of genetic abnormalities. Blueberries, packed with antioxidants, which protect sperm from damage caused by free radicals. This protection helps maintain the integrity and functionality of sperm cells. Garlic. Garlic is known for its ability to improve blood flow, which can support erectile function. Improved circulation ensures that the reproductive organs receive adequate oxygen and nutrients, enhancing overall reproductive health. Pomegranates, rich antioxidants that protect sperm cells from oxidative damage while increasing their viability, have been shown to boost testosterone levels and improve sperm quality. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate contains L-arginine, an amino acid that can improve sperm count and motility. 
It also has antioxidants that support overall reproductive health. Carrots. A high source of beta-carotene, a powerful antioxidant that helps maintain healthy sperm cells and improves their movement, thus supporting sperm motility. Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts are rich in selenium, an essential nutrient for sperm motility and health. Selenium protects sperm cells from oxidative damage and is crucial for their proper function. While we are controlling what to consume, let's review foods you may want to avoid for male reproductive health. Processed meats. Processed meats have been linked to reduced sperm quality. These meats often contain preservatives and chemicals that can negatively affect sperm health. Trans fats. Trans fats can negatively impact sperm count. Found in many fried and processed foods, trans fats can reduce the number of healthy sperm and impair their function. Soy products. Soy products contain phytoestrogens, which might lower testosterone levels. High consumption of soy can disrupt hormone balance, potentially affecting fertility. High-fat dairy, high-fat dairy products may be associated with lower sperm quality. The fats and hormones in these products can negatively impact sperm production and health. Excessive alcohol, excessive alcohol consumption can reduce testosterone levels and sperm production. Alcohol can impair the body's ability to produce healthy sperm and disrupt hormonal balance. Sugary drinks. Sugary drinks have been linked to lower sperm motility. High sugar intake can lead to insulin resistance and oxidative stress, both of which can affect sperm health. Caffeine. In excessive amounts, caffeine can negatively impact sperm count and motility. While moderate consumption is generally safe, high levels of caffeine can impair reproductive health. Pesticide-laden produce. Produce contaminated with pesticides can disrupt endocrine function. These chemicals can interfere with hormone levels and affect sperm production and quality. Artificial sweeteners. Some studies suggest a link between artificial sweeteners and decreased fertility. Certain sweeteners can negatively impact sperm count and motility. Plastics and chemicals. Foods stored in plastics containing BPA can affect hormone levels. BPA can leach into food and beverages, potentially disrupting endocrine function and impacting reproductive health. Saving the best for last. Let's quickly review how rest and hydration may impact the male reproductive system. Rest. Adequate sleep is crucial for maintaining hormonal balance including testosterone levels. Lack of sleep can lead to decreased testosterone, which impacts libido, energy levels, and overall reproductive health. And hydration. Staying hydrated is essential for producing healthy semen. Dehydration can lead to reduced semen volume and affect sperm motility. Let's all agree to aim for at least eight glasses of water a day to keep the reproductive system functioning optimally. Well, until next time, and as always, we hope and trust this information will be used and shared as a valuable tool as you strive to be a digital diamond. But no matter what you do, remember, because you strive to be a digital diamond, you read everything, your knowledge is broad and expansive, you attract success, and you create the life that you want to live. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel and becoming a part of the digital healthcare nomad community. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. Your support helps us create more great videos for you.